Now back to our lead story tonight. Are we all wrong when it comes to fighting the lone wolf terrorist? My guest tonight says, yes, we are. Zudi Jasser, a former lieutenant commander in the United States Navy, now runs the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Zudi, thanks for being with us. I, I'm fascinated by this. Um, you say the Department of Homeland Security doesn't have the wherewithal to figure out how to deal with these lone wolves. Why? Well, I mean, if we were doing something, that's one thing, but we are in surrender mode. Right now, we continue to have this whack-a-mole program where we look back after every one of these, the Sarnayevs, Nidal Hassan, we look back and say, oh wait, when did he become radical? And we're using violent extremism as the barometer rather than looking at the continuum of Muslim, Islamist, jihadist and soldier. This was not only an act of terror, Judge, this was an act of war. And in the Cold War, the Soviets, when we fought against them, we didn't look for those violent extremists and not call them communists. We were looking at the ideology that inspired all of them. So it's not just about the inspiration of ISIS, but the ins what inspires those who are inspiring. And it's the supremacy of the Islamic State and us reformers who want to okay. counter that. Wait, stop. <laughs> Hang on. So, all right, so we're not looking for violence necessarily, as was the case with, with the latest Abdulaziz, because there was no history of violence other than the cage fighting or whatever. So what should they look for? What are we doing wrong? Well, his blog said he wants to establish Islam. And if you look at many of where he hung out, he was uh, it's an ideology that believes in the supremacism of Islam. It's an ideology that hates America, that hates the West, sees freedom as a force of evil, but sees the Islamic State. And we should have experts at Homeland Security that look at Salafis and monitor them, monitor Islamists. This is an ideology that it's not rocket science. If you talk to Muslim reformers, and I could fill room with them, leaders that are trying to be heard, but we aren't doing that. We aren't taking sides within the House of Islam. We're just surrendering to political well, correctness. Well, well, let me tell you something. The, the surrender, the worst thing I heard tonight was that the Marines have been told not to wear their uniforms. That's, I mean, if that isn't surrender on American soil, I, I don't know what is. But, but the whole idea of, um, are you suggesting that there be profiling, infiltration, surveillance in mosques, or you're looking at words now, right? Not, no, it's about the lens that we use. No, not blanket surveillance of mosques. No, that would alienate Muslims like myself. Right. I'm talking about following the ideology. Right now, we're following the violence, and if it takes us into mosques, we follow it. Follow the ideology of, of supremacism, just like you follow the Communist Party in the Cold War. No, 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 no. follow Stop the with that. Nazis, How do we do that? How do we follow the ideology of Islamic supremacism? sermons and, and beliefs and blog posts, tweets, etc., that look at the evil of America, that look at the dominance of Islam. They want to establish the time just like it was with the Prophet with Islamic states. They hate reformers. But, they but hate people individualism. people in America, Zudi, would say that's protected by the First Amendment. It's protected, but we should be monitoring it. I'm not saying to make it illegal like they do in, in draconian states. I mean, even Saudis now are fighting ISIS, but the bottom line is, is they're fueling it. If we want to empower reformers like our organization and so many others, we have to say we're on the side of modernity and against Islamists. And we can have maybe the president's asleep, but private <laughs> philanthropists should be at least beginning to fuel a movement to empower the reformists for modernity and begin to show that this is not against Islam, but rather we want to to uh, get out of the woodwork the Islamists and expose the sermons that are so much hating America and, and making it seem like the Islamic State identity is what Muslims want, and it's not. Oh, Zudi Jasser, always good to talk to you, Zudi. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Judge. Appreciate it.